All right, so today we're in a peanut field and there have been some reports of lesser corn stalk borer activity in this area. This field is probably three or four weeks after emergence and we're starting to see the plants are starting to grow. We've got a little bit of thrips injury here, but it's dry. Dry weather is one of the risk factors for lesser corn stalk borer. And when we come in the field and we're looking and we wanna see are there lessers active in this field? We're looking for moths as we move through the field. Right now I, I come in here, I don't see any moths. The next thing is, is you notice that this stand is kind of skippy. It's not bad, but there's open places, bare soil, and this is an example of a plant sitting here. It's got six inches of bare soil on either side of it. This is going to be the kind of plant that gets infested first. This is where you want to look to see, okay, are there lessers in the field? If I check several plants like this with gaps on either side and I don't find lessers, I'm pretty confident that there's not a problem going on in that field. But if I do check these plants and I find some lesser corn stalk borer, I want to scout this field like I would if it wasn't skippy. You don't want to just go to plants in a skip and check those because it's going to bias your count. You're going to walk out of that field thinking that field is really heavily infested when in fact it may not be. So you're going to want to come in and check plants like this as well. Don't just check skippy plants. Check plants where you've got full coverage of the row because that's what you're going to, you want to give the grower a, a number that's representative of what's really going on in the field. You don't want to be treating lessers if there's, you know, one only on these skippy plants. So there's a tip for you for scouting peanuts early season when you may have some skips in the field. Check these plants, but make sure that you take a representative sample of the field.